Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-T-H-T. What's up, Joni? Not much, dude. We are back. Season 5, episode 1. If you're not watching on our YouTube channel, we are live, not live, but we're on video. <laughs> I mean, I'm alive. You're alive. We're live. Yeah, we are alive. Uh, season five <laughs> is going to be the video of face cam. Uh, we're going to have some guest hosts in, probably maybe do some more interviews. It's going to be some new stuff. So we've been out of the game for a little bit, but we, we're still alive. And with uh, the current situation in the world, that's a positive, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> what's been going on man what's happened over the last uh whatever however many months it's been since we did one of these uh i don't know man we've been surviving uh we have found uh different ways to enjoy ourselves in life other than going to the bar or meeting random girls because yeah you remember post post pandemic all we did was get girls and pre pre pandemic TNT every night. It was just like, who's this? He's like, yeah, yeah. And you too. Her man. name's Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. That's just Tuesday. That's Tuesday. Yeah. yeah fair yeah, enough. So, but uh, no, but yeah. thank you so much for joining us. Whether you're listening to us on our YouTube channel or uh, whether you're listening to us on SoundCloud, Spotify, iTunes, whatever, you know, if you make sure we always appreciate the subscriptions, the likes, the follows, the shares, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, we're going to kind of wing it on season five. We do talk about a lot of crazy news articles, and I, I do have some stuff like that to talk about, but we're going to kind of let it uh, flow off the hip. There'll be, uh, there aren't going to be probably one episode a week or so, you know, however long they go. If we got, and we'll have co hosts talking ish, you know, whatever. So, yeah. Tell yeah, me, yeah. tell me, tell me about your background there, Jonas. My background? Yeah, oh, it's a, uh, background. oh, yeah, that is uh, some DVDs. Uh, in Iraq and some of the artwork that I've made uh, on the thing. That's that's really it. Dude. That's I'm like the, the old. Room. That's the old backdrop that we used to use, right? Yeah, yeah. For the uh, the live season three uh, on uh, Twitch. Yeah, we used to sit in front of uh, my artwork. So yeah. yeah. If, you, if you haven't seen that, you should go back and watch it. There's some some timeless evergreen content. Oh yeah, dude. The R. Kelly, the R. Kelly uh, mimic that you did live. <laughs> Stood up and <laughs> got all angry with me, I and then tried, I was patting. Dude. We cut the camera, all that. I, yeah, that was I nice. tried so hard, dude. We tried. <laughs> all right, my background. <laughs> my background. I got Naruto. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that's Naruto and, and Sasuke. Then, and who's who the girl? That? Who Who do you think it is? Jonas? Is it Hinata? Jonas. I've never felt closer to you than I do at this moment right now. <laughs> she looks a lot different than she does in Naruto, she though. She does, but that was a trick question, because when you see these two and you see a young lady, you automatically got to think Sakura. But you didn't say Sakura because it's obviously can't be Sakura. She doesn't have pink hair. Pink hair, exactly, you dude. You saw the okay. eyes. Yeah. Full disclaimer, I, uh, I don't know very much about anime at all, but uh, yeah, but I've been watching a little bit of Naruto, and uh, it's not bad, man. Other than so it being proud. subtitled and, like, I'm not a big fan of subtitled work because I have a trouble paying attention to the text while I'm watching. So other than that, but the actual story and stuff, pretty good. I like all their different abilities and whatnot. So. You just wait until I get you on some Hunter Hunter or some, uh, uh, some My Hero Academia. Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'll just watch The Office, dude. I'm good. <laughs> you dip the toe. You dip the toe in the weed pool. Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. I don't not I don't not like it at all. And you know, I probably could watch it on Netflix on the dubbed and listen to it in English. But we we did that a little bit, and it is it's a whole different show that way. Dude. <laughs> like it watching is. it in Japanese, I think is fitting to the show. Yeah, it's it's different. So well, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, dude. Uh, you know, we we do everything with news stories. So I guess let me let me start one off with a news story, and we'll it will kind of go from there. So. This is just a few months old. Uh, there was a man. He was 30 years old. 30 he year decided old man. that he liked psychedelic mushrooms. Okay. So he decided, you know, instead of just, you know, eating them or whatever, you know, you do normally, he mm -hmm. decided he would shoot them up into his bloodstream. Did you hear the story? I have heard the story. And <laughs> what the hell? Why would so, you do that? 
I, I don't know. It says, I mean, it, it mentions he's bipolar, but that really wouldn't have anything no. to do with this. So and doesn't, bipolar I, sure isn't how... equal to stupid. So right, exactly. Of, does, the, does it say that he's stupid? Does he have a medical condition for stupid? <laughs> um, Stupidus Maximus, I think, is what's okay. listed here. Right. Um, Yeah, I don't even know how. If you like, just ground it up into it and then put some water in it. That's what but it essentially like what ended up happening to this man is... The mushroom started growing in his blood. Mm. Mm, so he mm. ended up with uh, some organ failure. Yeah. Uh, they said they they tried to uh, do an interview with him, but he had to interview him to see like how he he said he was incoherent. He had vomited blood. He was developing jaundice, diarrhea, and nausea, and yeah. uh, had liver injury. His kidneys weren't functioning properly. He was going into organ failure. Imagine that. You have mushrooms growing inside your organs and they start to fail. Uh, yeah, because you put fungus in your bloodstream. It's poisonous. <laughs> That's why it affects you, because it's poison. Right, right. Poison. The whole reason that you trip on it is that it's poisonous, and then you put you just pump it, just gr the, the physical right. properties. Yeah, put it right in your heart. Dude, just put it in your heart. Just put that shit. I mean... Take that shit put it in your heart. Like, how would you even go about getting a physical property through a syringe into your bloodstream like that? Uh, I don't know, Jonas, because I don't use injection to get my drugs into me. <laughs> I prefer to drink my drugs. And yes. yes, I'm only talking about alcohol. The only legal form of getting messed up, drinking yeah. alcohol. I also yeah, like dude. to drink cocaine, but that's <laughs> totally different. <laughs> Completely different. That's, that's Coca-Cola. For those who no, know. I mean girl, horse, the good horse? stuff. Yeah. Horse. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. All right. Sorry. Yeah. That Colombian <laughs> fine wine, boy. <laughs> yeah. So what happens? Yeah. Just put it. Put it in a glass of Ovaltine. Drink it down. Holy shit, Jonas! But this dude is nuts. This dude is absolutely nuts, man. That. And he damn nearly cost himself his life with that. Yeah, yeah. They said he did survive. Like, he yeah. did survive. Uh, they said, It says that he was in the hospital for 22 days, gave him two antibiotics and an antifungal treatment, and he had to keep taking it after. after. Yeah. See, and that's the thing. It's like, honestly, if a drug requires you to inject it into your body, it's never good. Never. Yeah. never that's never a good drug. You can't name one yeah. drug, recreational, obviously, that you inject that's good for you. Uh, yeah. Yeah, dude, I can't, I can't, okay. um, no. no, I can't, uh, no, I mean, what do you, what do you inject into you that's good for you in the, in first, insulin? If that's not a drug. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, <laughs> I mean, there's <laughs> antibiotics and shit. Man, yeah, know, this cover. I mean, you ain't injecting man. antibiotics at home. The only thing your home use. What 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 sort of things do people use a syringe for at home? That's legal. Yeah. Um. Nah, I don't know. Like, Insulin. I don't think I don't think you should just have like a bunch of needles in your house. Yeah, that seems like, dangerous anyway. Of, yeah, I can't think of anything else that anyone at home uses a, a syringe on a re regular basis for a legal purpose other than insulin. And they yeah. even have ways that it's not injected too, right? Don't you have like pumps and stuff too, or something? No, I, must, I mean you, sometimes you have to, but those like an insulin needle is so tiny and fragile, and you just, you know, you just get it in there a little bit. You're not going like IV, like intravenous is what mm -hmm. what I'm assuming that he did, which is directly into the bloodstream. You're not doing that. You're just doing like uh, what they call like a sub Q, which is right underneath like a little layer of fat. So because the fat tissue suck, I'm sorry, I don't want to get too medical with it, but the fat tissue sucks <laughs> up the medication. Yeah, way, yeah. That's what I was thinking, like if he injected like a physical, like ground up mushroom substance into his bloodstream, that's what he did. Wouldn't it just like get caught somewhere? Um, yeah, there's a chance of that. It definitely could have could have caused a backup, and that would have been problematic. But when when you think about mushrooms, um, mushrooms like wet, damp. And dark, so wet, damp, and dark. The inside of your veins are warm. perfect. Yeah, and warm on top yeah, of it. Yeah, constantly. Yeah, just warm. like okay, kids, do not ever take any substance to get messed up. Besides the way that it's meant to be taken, you can only put alcohol in your mouth. You should only put alcohol in your mouth. <laughs> you telling me I can't butt chug? 
<laughs> yes. Tell me I gotta stop butt tucking with the boys. <laughs> Dude, Kill joy. That is not the proper way to uh <laughs> intoxicate, my friend. Have, have you ever not at all? Have you ever butt chugged? No, not in the slightest. I why, dude? I get plenty of a nice euphoric effect from drinking alcohol. Could, why would could, I want to explain to the boys and girls at home what butt chugging is first? You put it in your butt. How much more? Like, <laughs> what else could it be? You put what in your butt? Alcohol, <laughs> vodka, whatever. How I do think. you how do you get it there? I would imagine some sort of siphon or funnel or something. Funnel? Yeah. Just- <laughs> Got a stick of can of like WD forty up my butt. Yeah, you just go get the oil funnel out of your garage and just just do it up, dude. So oh, yeah, man. man. All right, well, butt chugging apparently is the, the the better way to get it to get it done. But I've never I guess done it's it. Quicker. I, I mean, I guess. Yeah. I mean, that's why people put like pills and things like suppositories supposed to hit the bloodstream immediately. Yeah. That's why. But no, dude, I'm not trying to absorb anything through anywhere but my mouth and stomach. All right. So I mean, I were, guess there's medical pills that you're supposed to use as suppositories, but like that's the purpose. Okay. Have, My uh, speaking of which, I had a friend in high school. Suppository story. Let's go. He once told me that he was at his grandparents' house and they got into a legit fight because one of them took the last suppository and like they, I guess they both took the same ones. And he said they were in this like really heated argument about stealing the last suppository. Wow. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, different strokes for different folks. Yeah, dude. It's like the same thing. Like you, you drink the last Coke zero. I'm, I'm ball up in arms. Like where's the last Coke? You're like, you steal the last suppository, dude. It's like, where's the last suppository dude i couldn't even tell you the last time or if any time i've ever had a suppository um let alone what kind of medicines even are, are made with suppo- like what is, what kind of medicine is put into a suppository usually stuff to make you go to be honest that's, that's oh like anti-constipation type stuff yeah because like you got a blockage in there so they'll put something to help lube up your rectum to help it come on out mm. or stuff to like you put it in there and it breaks up the poop in there it's Ah, uh, it's like a Drano for the booty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good thing they don't got to get the plumber to come out with a snake on that, you know? Mm. No, I wouldn't want a snake. I'd, I'd take a plunger, though. <laughs> I wonder if that would work. <laughs> All right, Dynamite, here comes the plunger. You're like, oh, God, no. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Jesus, that sounds terrible. <laughs> oh, man. Too. Sounds completely... <laughs> Awesome. Awesome yeah, and awful so, at the same time. So moral of the story, kids, don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Don't even drink. Do not. You don't know how many drink. lives are ruined because of alcohol? Eh, I mean, alcohol abuse. But all, uh, things in moderation are generally okay. Yeah, I know a lot of people, though, that, like, they don't they don't have an alcohol problem, but a lot of their problems have occurred while they were on alcohol. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I could see that. I've definitely had some problems come from alcohol consumption. Um, mm-hmm. But, you know, if you keep yourself in check, then you're good. Know yeah. your well, limit and it, stop like, when your limit is. Yeah, well, and that's the problem. It's like, But think about, like, how many times have you been with, like, a partner or whatever, and you guys get a little too tipsy and somebody gets mad, and then there's, like, an argument because you're drunk? Um, that's that's why I think you know, like the commercials say, drink responsibly, is because you just have to be responsible. Um, you can't really take into account another person's responsibility, but you can always control yourself. So exactly, well, that's always the problem. Yeah, it's like the other person. You're, you're like, I uh, I drank a lot. I'm feeling pretty good, and here you are laying on the floor, <laughs> and you're like, oh, yeah. One of us drank responsibly. Yeah. The other one. Hey, potato, potato, right? Hey, brownie points for you when you get to pick that person up and help them out, man. That's easy brownie <laughs> points. I would have did this shit anyway. I would have helped you off of the floor and, and wiped your vomit off the, off your cheek anyway. But yeah, now you're going to think I'm a great person over it? Pfft, that's a win-win. <laughs> I'm trying to think if I've ever had to help a friend. Like, it's I've definitely had to help, like, a girlfriend before, you know. But, like, have uh, I ever, like... Have I ever had a buddy that, like, I've been pretty messed up and I've had to, like, go get sick, you know? But, like, I've never had to have someone physically help me. Like, I could always make it home myself. Like, I may not be the most strong-legged, but I made it, you know, no matter what happened. I've never had to, like, be carried. Yeah, I've definitely helped some friends when they're drunk. 
or uh yeah 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 for sure i don't know it's you know not everybody knows their limit and you should definitely learn yours if you choose to drink and just just drink responsibly at Act what responsibly. point in your life is it your fault when you don't know your limit like if you're 36 and you don't know your limit on how much you can drink is that that's your fault problem. yes <laughs> yes that's a problem <laughs> Because I think um, everyone at like 24, you know, 22, you're getting, you're like, oh, dude, I can. And then you're like, oh, no. <laughs> Oops. I think that uh, the very first time you drink, it's your responsibility. Because who else's responsibility is it? Yeah. It ain't, it ain't Johnny G with a, with a bottle of vodka's responsibility. He'll give yep. you as many shots as you want. He's a friendly guy. It's not your, your homeboy Ezekiel. Who brought you out for your twenty first birthday? It's not his his fault. Everybody's got a homeboy Ezekiel. You do, yeah, I do, and they all want to just keep feeding you drinks. Yeah, it's not his responsibility. Yeah, it's yeah. yours. You, yeah. you remember when we went when we went downtown for that one dude's birthday who I'd only met like one time, and I kept feeding him drinks to the point where somebody actually said, "Stop buying him drinks." Do you remember that? Wait, wait, down here. In was, Austin? Yeah, this was in Austin, bro. It was when we went to the club where I was talking to the, the juggalo. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody came up and told you to stop feeding him drinks on his birthday? Because I had bought him, like, four drinks, and he was getting messed up. He was like, I wasn't going to drink anymore, but since you're buying. I was like, yeah, man, it's a celebration. Let's go. And then uh, that one girl... The skinny girl uh, who was always at your your event, she actually <laughs> told me to stop buying them drinks. Wow, I didn't I didn't realize that, dude. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like. I mean, straight up confront. She was drunk too, though. So I'm sure. Oh you know, yeah. Like if she were sober, I probably would have just like I don't know. <laughs> I would have been a little bit less kind if I didn't realize she was intoxicated. That's yeah, yeah. Like I mean, that was a yeah. That was a that was an interesting. That was the night the guy like got a little friendly and tried to choke me a little bit at the the next bar. He he like he he wrangled me up like he was trying to be my buddy, and then I was like, "See, I drank responsibly that night, and so did you." Because, I did too. I felt good though. I wanted to hit that man. I wanted to hit him <laughs> very hard with my fist. And I yeah, because he even tried to it. push us playfully as we left the bar because the bouncer was like, Is, "What's going on?" We're like. That dude got a little too handsy. He told me to let it go. I was like, you better let him go. <laughs> let him yeah. go. Let yeah, him right? go home and sober up before he gets his ass kicked. <laughs> so I am going, uh, so like you have heard all You're gonna the hate this. Of... You're going to hate this, but I got to plug my computer in. Keep talking. Oh, okay. I can hear you. Oh, Keep yeah, talking. dude. Well, I'll talk. Yeah, you know, there, there's a, uh, you know, there's an old adi adiage of there's a debate of is this a sandwich or is this not a sandwich oh jesus christ <laughs> jesus christ this? what dude where every streamer ever created has done this but it's fine Let's no go. but but i i found something online that i want to show you i'm going to share my screen is it the definition of a sandwich it is the wikipedia sandwich article i'm going to share my screen <laughs> give me one second I'm gonna do some it all care. started from this tweet. Are you unsatisfied with your current debates regarding what or is not a sandwich? You should try using the cube rule for identifying what you're eating. Have you ever heard of this? Like the ice cube rule? It, no, this is this is good, dude. So, okay. so you scroll down a little bit. It's the grand unified theory of food identification. The cube rule. Here are the rules of the cube rule. If it has, if, here. <laughs> if it only has bread on the bottom, it's toast. If it has it on top and bottom, it's a sandwich. If it's shaped like a U or surrounds it on three sides, it's a taco. If it surrounds it on four sides, it's sushi. No. If it if it's surrounded like a bowl, it's a soup, salad, bread bowl. Or if it's a completely covered, it's a calzone. This is not right. And what is a burrito? So hold on. You, I'm going to scroll down a little bit more. Can you see this on, on your yeah, screen? I see it on okay. my screen. So identify any food purely by the location of the structural starch. So it doesn't even have to be bread. So toast 
is on the bottom of the cube, which popular examples, those are examples of toast by this theory. Pizza would be toast. Nigeri sushi would be toast. Nigiri. Even pumpkin pie, nigiri, even pumpkin pie would be toast because the starch is directly on the bottom. Thoughts. So what is an open face sandwich? Toast. The fuck I no, it's not, dude. What is a casserole? <laughs> so a casserole's toast. Uh let's get shepherd's through it, dude. Pie is, what is shepherd's sandwich. Pie? Top and bottom. So what are popular examples of a sandwich? A sandwich is motherfucker. A quesadilla? A sandwich. Quesadilla. No, because it surrounds it on the left and right too. It, no, it doesn't. That's open. It's open. It's only covered on the top and bottom. So what is it? All right, fine. I'll let it slide, but I feel like a, a quesadilla <laughs> is more of hey. a taco. I'm thinking of like the, the Taco Bell quesadillas. Oh, yeah. Like... I'm thinking of two tortillas stacked on top of each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, so then, I'll go. But and then, uh, uh, and then Victoria sponge cake, whatever that is. So then we got taco, which three sides, top, bottom, and left, or left, right, and bottom. Hot dog, a taco. Sub sandwich, taco. Slice a pie with a top crust, taco on its side. I hate this. Did you I say hate, you hate I, it? I hate this. I hate this a lot. <laughs> Why do you I hate, hate it so? this? Because it's pissing <laughs> me off, dude. I'm like, I'm pissed. <laughs> I'm fucking mad. Why? Because a hot dog's no. a taco? Yeah, because, yeah, I mean, technically a hot dog is a taco. I'm mad that the pie is up here, to be honest. <laughs> Okay, now we got sushi because it's wrapped on four sides. Why, I don't feel like sushi is the proper. Like it's too... so a falafel, pigs in a blanket, no. an enchilada, a burrito, all sushi. <laughs> okay, I kind of, I'm kind of not mad at that actually. <laughs> I kind of like, I kind of like the idea that a, a burrito is just like it's basically sushi. It's just <laughs> yeah, like... just wrapped. Wrapped in bread. Yeah, this is like Mexican sushi or something. <laughs> I don't know. Sushi. <laughs> right. And then you scroll down a little bit, and then you got the quiche. <laughs> Which this I hate. Cheesecake, bread bowl soup, a falafel pita. All are just quiche. No, a falafel pita ain't no motherfucking cheese. That's a taco. A that's ta a taco. Yeah, that's a taco because it's only three sides. Right, right. Wait a minute. Yeah. Oh, so if it's a bowl. Of yeah, anything. it's basically a quiche because yeah, it, it all fits inside the bowl. Oh, I see what you're yeah. saying. Okay. And then bonus round, deep dish pizza, a salad and a bread bowl, or a key lime pie. What are those? Those are quiches. As Still well? bonus quiches, yeah. And then uh and then calzone, of course, is like a burrito. Oh, they call a burrito a calzone because it's wrapped on four sides. Okay. Every side. Okay. And then a corn dog, a whole pie with like a crust on top. Wait, so as soon as you cut the pie, now it's a different thing? It yeah, a taco? I, I think whoever made this didn't didn't uh, take it all into example, but I thought it was interesting enough to talk about because it would make people mad. holes in your shit because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Another it calzone, Pop-Tart. <laughs> Pop-Tart. <laughs> Uncrustables. I'm trying to think if I agree with that or not. Pop-Tart's kind of like a calzone. It's and actually kind of like a ravioli. Yeah, but a ravioli is basically a calzone, according to yeah, this Yeah, exactly, because it's wrapped in. So, oh, additional cube rulings. What do we got here? A cake. Oh, three layers. A Big Mac is a cake. <laughs> it is. It is. That is that is 100% true. A lasagna? Looked, it's a cake. I've looked at a Big Mac before and been like, this fucking cake-ass sandwich? It's like a burger cake. Yeah, flatjacks, yeah. dude. Yeah, dude, it's all cake. I don't know. Oh, about, and then I mean, well, flatjacks are probably they're called pancakes. <laughs> and here we go: salad, no sides with starch, steak, mashed potatoes. I'm done. And spaghetti. I'm done. How, do, how do we get out of this? How do we how <laughs> salad do we stop this bonus call? round? Poutine, dude. Chocolate I love poutine. soup. Wait, muffins or other blocks of starch are type one toast. Rice, inter interpret however you are. A vanilla soy latte is a three bean wet salad. Thank you. Yeah, dude. My thing is that he, he classifies things with no 
definable starch on any sides of it to be a salad. Right. Everything is a salad. Then, as long as sandwich. If, I mean, yeah, obviously not a sandwich or a hot dog, anything with bread, but like a pork a, chop is a salad. A piece of a piece of chicken on a plate, a salad. A steak on a plate, a salad. <laughs> A, a piece of corn on the cob is a salad, according to this man. Yeah, I don't know who did it, but I... Uh, no, it's cute. It is, it's adorable, but I hate it so bad. You're like, it's it. adorable, but it made me, it made me Ooh, very mad. It made me angry. I'm... Mm, mm. Why were you so mad, dude? Because it's bad, dude. It made me want to punch the guy, whoever made it. Don't dox him, though, Jonas. Don't dox him. Oh, no, dude. His name's Steve Jones. He lives in Bo Birmingham, Alabama. Oh, well, listeners, I don't you know even, what you got to do. That's you know uh, that's you, not even true. I have no clue who made it. Listeners, so. you know what you got to do. You got to fight like hell. You're not going to have a country anymore. Fight like, wow. Is that what's <laughs> going to happen? You're not going to go if you, want, if you don't want to make your hot dog a taco, you got to fight like hell or you're not going to have a country left that's anymore. Right, that's right. You, yeah. We're going to march down to Steve's house. Peacefully. <laughs> Is that what you're Peacefully. <laughs> yes, absolutely. March down to Steve's house peacefully. <laughs> Jesus. Anything you want to bring up and chat about on the on this first inaugural season five video podcast? Of, of course I do, Jonas. Uh, in lieu of the events that have happened recently, I mm -hmm. just want to send my deepest to cold condolences to Earl Simmons' family. Uh, for those of you that don't know, that is the rapper DMX who just recently passed away due to his... Um, ongoing battle with uh, drug addiction, and I urge anybody who is experiencing any similar addiction to seek help and fight and know us that we fight with you. Absolutely. Drug abuse is terrible, and uh, it sucks that uh, he definitely, you know, he, he's not an angel. He's not, he's not lived a straight life his whole life, but hey, look, I don't wish that on anybody. None of us have. None of us have. Absolutely. Just because you've done things and went to prison does not make you any less of a person than the people who have not. Fair. <laughs> I mean, you're still human. But, you know, hey, I was never a big DMX fan. I didn't listen to a lot of his stuff, but you said that uh, some of his albums held, held a special place for you there. Uh, yeah, it's probably one of my favorite uh, musical artists, you know, obviously years and years and years ago. But, yeah, one of my favorites. Um. Some of the things that I see in myself to this day, I actually realized uh, probably came from um, me enjoying his music so much and some of the messages that he had. Um, the fact that I, I'm always constantly talking about how I don't value money, that was a big thing that he kept in, in his lyrics. Um, he would always speak about how he doesn't understand how other mus musical artists can constantly boast about their money and the car and the ring and chain and the watch and all that kind of stuff and he he decided not to do that he presented himself in a way that you would never know he was a multi-millionaire but you know it's all a game but i i did res I, I respected that and i hold some of those ideas uh close to me to this day eh, i don't know man it, dmx was a big part of my life i remember playing like uh <laughs> Like Final Fantasy, and I would rename my characters DMX. <laughs> yeah, okay, it was and bad. Would it your was... name is Special X. Gonna give it to you? <laughs> no, you couldn't do that back then. But uh, I don't remember naming my characters DMX. Man. Where did the uh, dog names. barking thing come from? Um, dogs are the most loyal <laughs> animal that a person can find. Did dog... he get in trouble for fighting dogs too? I don't think so. No. But I'm, you know, whatever. I'm sure he did. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think so. But, you know, probably. It's not like, you know, the, there's a person getting in trouble for killing cows. And I'd rather see cows fight than... <laughs> oh, my God. Could you imagine... Just saying. If they, like, they put... Instead of, like, putting them through the, tra the tra trauma that they put them through, they, like, have them fight to the death so then you can then make burgers? So is it just wrong... About the dog stuff because dogs are kept as pets. Do they keep dogs on a higher no, because, tier because, than yeah, cats? man? Because they're cute. They're cute, so you know they get a little different treatment. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. But I've, I've, I feel like every time you bring that kind of stuff up, I always have to take it there. But I, I, it's the same shit to me. Yeah, that's actually a really good point. Like, 
we we hold some animals to a higher standard than other animals. Like we will throw chickens in a cage, nine of them, where they can't even walk and are pooing all over each other just to get their eggs. But if you but did if you that like, to a dog, you, you would get locked the fuck. Yeah. Up. So, but if you put yeah nine dogs in like a three foot cage and they found you, like you, you could have those chickens. Like we could, out back of our of our crazy town compound, we could have a chicken coop with nine chickens in a cage, and the animal board could come by and just be like, "Get you some eggs, yummy, <laughs> yummy," and he'd be like, "That's kind of weird, right?" Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I've always felt like that about uh about it. Anyway, yeah, I was vegan for a while though, so I'm biased. I'm biased. But yeah, man, DMX is gone, Jonas. I'm sorry that you never got to experience him the way I did. Um, but uh, I suggest people go back and listen to his back catalog. It's, there's some good songs in there. It was from well, a different time. Today, you, I was going to say, you told me today it didn't hold up very well in today's politically <laughs> correct. You held up fine, Jonas. It was just <laughs> like you got to remember. It's like, going it's like when you're and, talking to Grandpa. Mm, yeah, it's like reading Huckleberry Finn. It's like, mm, really? <laughs> right, you wanna describe, right. You want to describe Jim like that, huh? That's yeah. your choice, huh? Yeah. So many other things you could have said, but you, yeah, that 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 kind of word language. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It, it is what it is. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm I'm just hoping that 2021 is going to be a little bit better than 2020 was, because you know we lost a lot of great great artists, a lot of uh, public public figures. We lost a lot of people who were close to us in 2020. So we lost 500,000 people in the U.S. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah alone. Yeah, yeah. Not let alone like across the world, man. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's starting to turn the corner. It's starting to get a little bit better. You know, things yeah. are things are happening. Um, less people are dying. Less people are getting sick. Yeah, well, it looks like we're on the we're kind of closing in, but I don't want to I don't want to put any false right over. right. I, I mean, a, research, a fourth so. wave could hit at any point, dude. It yeah. really could. Yeah. So um, just continue to be safe, I guess, man. You know, you know, you know what's the, like really sad is I saw someone write somewhere is like, you know, the pandemic's coming to the close because America's starting to have mass shootings again. Because people are like, yep, get out there and use my guns and get crazy and kill. That shit stuff didn't happen during pandemic, dude. It like couldn't. nobody was out there. And there like now no, people are like, oh, I'm no going to go to the grocery store. I'm going to go kill a doctor and his family because... Uh, whatever whatever like yeah. well there was no there was no mass to shoot you know if the masses yeah. are in their homes you can't shoot masses now that the masses are out you can find masses to get to yeah i saw they were doing some sort of a uh, gun gonna start some sort of gun regulation something i didn't re did you read about that at all i didn't see i didn't Just, see enough hey, about it to... hey brother if you want to get political on the podcast we could do I mean, that. We, I mean, i'm not ta i'm not taking a stance you... i'm just saying i saw that they're doing some it sounds like you're asking me mine no it's... i'm asking you if you saw what they actually put into place yes i saw what they did but i don't know the the uh intricacies of it and gotcha. i don't have an opinion yeah <laughs> there you go <laughs> yeah we don't tend to get very political on on the on the uh on the podcast here and there i'm good no pass on that one. <laughs> oh yeah so you know sometimes people you know people go to jail for stuff right you know they're like oh dude i did stuff i'm in jail for sure um so i did stuff i'm in jail right exactly that's, that's, so, that's, that's the scenario that every guy in jail tells them <laughs> no, what they say is I didn't do anything and I'm in jail. <laughs> this guy talking to a cellmate, what you in for? No, I, did <laughs> I didn't do anything. Lawyer screwed me. Uh -huh. I did some stuff. <laughs> so so a guy, he's 30, 30 years old. I think this took place. I don't know where it took place. We'll say Florida because that's where that's the common trope. God dang millennials. Right, right. He uh he got out of jail. And he, you know, he, he's like, oh, dude, I was in jail for a felony. His name is Marcus Goodman, 31 years old. Yeah, he was released from too. jail mm -hmm. and right just about 10 o'clock at night. And he was about a mile and a half away from the prison. And he was like, I got to get home. I don't even know what I'm doing out here. So he's like, you know what I'll do? I'll just rob a 16-year-old girl and steal her car. You know, if I'm out of jail for 20, 20 minutes, why not just show how reformed I am? Uh, yeah, he got caught and he got sent back to jail for robbery. 
like I can't even like, okay, first off, I can't even imagine like going to jail because like, I don't think I'd be all right there. I mean, like, I'd be like, I wouldn't want to go. So I don't do things that'll send me there. That's kind of the first rule of thumb. I live my life by. Fair enough. That's probably a good, I, good way to go. Right. I couldn't imagine getting out of jail and just immediately being like, I'm going to steal a car and rob somebody. There's no way I'm going to go back to jail. Yeah, he probably wanted to go back, to be honest. That, that to me, sounds like you, you you wanted to go back. Yeah, it's like you know what – it's like you knew what you were doing. Like, he was like – they always say that, though. There's people that, like, they, they're like – their time's up, and they're like, no. No, 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 no. I'm good. I want to stay here with all my friends. Like, yeah. I don't – Because you got to pay bills out here. You got to – Yeah? You got to pay rent out here. It's not That's a game. True. You got to go and get a job. You got to work every day. Jail is yeah. kind of easy, man. It's free meals and, like, sure, you're missing out easy, on some amenities. Easy in, its, in, a, in a not easy way, yeah. yeah easy yeah, as far yeah. as responsibility, but you get all the, like, if you need structure, if you need, if you don't want to work, I mean, like, yeah, you get mo you get meals and they tell you exactly what to do with every minute of your day. Yeah, and to a point, it becomes like a, it becomes a form of Stockholm Syndrome, too. Because, yes, you're you're held against your will, but you start making lighter and lighter of the situation to the point where it's like, this ain't so bad because you, you can get accustomed to just about anything. Oh, I mean, that's, I guess that's human nature because yeah, I mean, we're very resilient about, creatures. Oh yeah. Think about like, you know, it's like, it's, it's interesting. It's like, if you make, I think, I think about when I was younger and super broke, I would just adapt. I would to make like it. eating eating things and doing whatever. And now I make way more money than I did when I was like 20 and I adapt now, but like I could, it's like, if I tried to go back to how I ate when I was 20 and like go to the grocery store, I'm like, okay, I got $26 to last me till next Tuesday. What can I get? Okay. I can get a oh. thing of ham. Okay. That's $6. Okay. I can get a mm -hmm. loaf of bread, three pot pies. Like, I just go to the grocery store and buy groceries now. No, I'm not buying full a mignon and all this. I, yeah, but I, I want some rich. chicken. I want some bread. I want some whatever. I bought some tortillas. Like I spend a hundred bucks. Okay, cool. Like it's it is what it is. I have the money to buy somewhat what I want. But I definitely just, remember having twenty dollars for two weeks and being like, "How many double cheeseburgers can I eat a day?" <laughs> right, right, yeah. One McDonald's in the morning, one at night. <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. You'd be like, okay, all right, you know. So let me ask you this then. What was your well, did you have like a poor man's meal? Like when you like were on on thrift budget, did you ever have something that like was like this feels like it's not a two dollar meal right now that I put together? Like oh, we, we talking struggle foods, Jonathan? Yeah. You wanna talk struggle foods? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, the grilled cheese, fuck, fucking uh, the Mirashan ramen noodles with hot dog and onion cut in them. Uh, oh, what, damn. What <laughs> I used to take uh, ramen noodles and drain off all the water and throw a, a microwaved pot pie in that bee, dude, and mix and stir it up. It's like a casserole. It would be like veggies, gravy, oh, bread, pasta. That's it was a, uh, but that was back when ramen noodles were like literally seven cents a pack and pot pies were like 50 cents a pack. I said something to my mom the other day about pot pies and she was like, yeah, they're like three fifty four dollars I'm like, for a pot pie? For the banquet like, jump offs? I was like, like, they are not worth that. For like the cheap ass banquet ones? Yeah, That's she said nuts. they're like, yeah, they're like three bucks or something. I was like, that is oh. ridiculous. Like, how are you going to, like, <laughs> and then I think about like, People who work at like fast food places and they work like 20 hours a week. I'm like, you make like $400 a month, like every two weeks or something. Like mm -hmm. how the hell can you even buy ramen noodles now? Like they compensate them with letting them take some stuff home, but that's like ugh. how much freaking <laughs> how much KFC can you take home with you before you're like, I'm yeah, I'll tell you what though. Home. When I was a kid, dude, and I was in high school and worked at uh, Wendy's, like I would, I would eat, I would take home as much Wendy's as I could do because I was like, it's, food. I didn't have to, I didn't care if I eat burger. I, I do the, st the best things I ever had from Wendy's were things I will never be able to eat again because they were things that were not on the menu that you're like, let me throw this and this together and like put chicken nuggets on some bread with some cheese and a, you know, whatever the hell you did, you know? And it's like, I, I was making the double Euros, stack. Man. 
Yeah, I was making the double stacks where you took the two junior patties with some cheese before they ever had that ish on the menu at uh at Wendy's. And then I was like, man, I could have made all the money. Yeah, Mr. Hero, they got they got like ham and salami and stuff. Mm. Dude, the Roman burgers could do whatever, dude. They didn't let us take much food home at Mr. Hero's though. Occasionally, occasionally I take like a sandwich or something. But yeah, I think I think Mr. Hero is more of like a franchise, like where I feel like Wendy's is more of like a court. Like chain. Mr. Hero's is regional. Wendy's is national. So I feel yeah. like I feel, I feel like the people who own a Mr. Hero are like, oh no, oh there's some leftover tater tots. Throw those in the cooler. We'll deep fry them again in the morning. <laughs> Make them crisp for the first customer. <laughs> What else did you make those like poor man's foods do? What was something that you did? So, like I said, man, you got like uh what what did I say at first? Grilled cheese is a is a struggle food 100%. Oh yeah, it's good, dude. I still occasionally now I'm like, dude, I really want a grilled cheese. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you and then you can put whatever you want in it. You put bacon bits, put a slice of ham, you could put Egg. You, I mean, you, there's a ton of stuff you could put in a grilled cheese. Never thought about that. That's actually an idea. But as far as like the way I would prepare ramen noodles, so I would take ramen noodles and I would either cut up like either hot dog, obviously, hot dog for sure, hot dog for sure, maybe even like some ham or some roast beef or something. Put it in there. Take a craft single, the cut creaminess. it up, in a, cut it up into little chunks. Stir that up, man. You got yourself. Macaroni and cheese, ramen and cheese mixed with meat, delicious, delicious, <laughs> and cheap. Um, I don't know. The, the pot pie thing was a thing for me for a long time, but it was like the banquet ones, they were like 50 cents a pop, 98 cents a pop, something like that. Yeah, I don't yeah, and it came out a little metal tin. You'd have, if you want to cook them in the microwave, you had to take them out of that and just yeah. like, yeah, 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 we're yeah, talking dude. the same language. What the hell did I used to get? Uh, yeah, I used I to get. Think. Oh, when I was when I would really treat myself, I would get myself French bread pizzas. That was like my cheap like gourmet meal because okay. they were like okay. they were like four dollars and you get two like little French breads. But I would always buy Fucking the uh, zap snacks. What are the uh, the little cheap ones that have the crust that basically like breaks apart? Totinos, like dollar pizzas. You get like oh like, my god! Like, like you pull them out of the oven and the whole bottom falls out. And you're like, I F? remember me and my friend would buy boxes of cereal because they came with the free Totino's pizza coupon on them. Oh, <laughs> nice. You got double whammy, dude. Yeah, so we were like, hey, man, I got to buy some more Cheerios because I, I get a free Totino's pizza. Yeah, cere cereal used to be a good struggle food, too, but milk is, exp is, is way more expensive than it used to be. Like, cereal is pretty much the same price. You can get a big bag of cheap off-brand cereal for nothing. It's yo, a matter of the milk. Yo, King Vitamin goes hard. I don't know if they have King Vitamin down there. They don't here. make it anymore, dude. Uh, I'm coming, Elizabeth. This is the big yeah, one. let me let me see. I, go ahead, keep talking about King Vitamin. I want to see when it's King Vitamin is the, one of the cheapest cereals, super super welfare food, but it is <laughs> so good, man. Comes in a bag. Like if your cereal comes in a bag, yo, you are struggling, all right? Just just admit it, understand it, live with it, and realize that it is okay. Because I too have oh. a bag cereal. At least we're not we drinking go. our milk out of bags like Canadian. Oh that's my god. They drink their bag. Here we go. Watch this. Yeah, Canadians Watch have this. bag milk. Are you kidding me? Here we go. That's my shit right there. Oh my <laughs> god, look at that. <laughs> I love that motherfucker. 2019, dude. Jumbo size. King Vite. Corn, corn and oat. It was shaped like little crowns, dude. Oh, I mean, I poor guess. guy. I that guy looks like a man that'll serve you a good breakfast. <laughs> Looks like, yeah, serve up some sexual harassment. I didn't, re <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, that was made by the Quaker company. So that's the same uh, company that makes, like, the, the oatmeal and shit. Yeah, yeah, must be, yeah. Let me see. Yeah, oh, yeah, Quaker, dude. Look, the Quaker guy. Yeah, that's that good stuff right there, man. King Vitamin is the, base, is the best uh, struggle cereal there is in life. I don't care. Don't at me. <laughs> don't, don't at me, he says. Don't. <clears throat> Oh. Yeah, dude. I uh, what my mom used to always buy the off-brand uh, Lucky Charms. They yeah. have off-brand Lucky Charms. Oh yeah, dude. The the marshmallows I mean, were e but... extra hard. They were like, <laughs> you know, I was like, these are awful crunchy marshmallows, and I ate real Lucky Charms, and I was like, this tastes. Com I was like, this is gross. I was like, what the hell? Yeah, dude. Off-brand Lucky Charms. What they have? Those were the shapes. 
Oh, they were the same. They all, I mean, you know how it goes. It's it was, all the same. There wasn't no hard stars and horseshoes. They had like it was it was malt liquor bottles and, and conch syringes. Shells. <laughs> yeah, conch shells and syringes and all that stuff. Malt Dog liquor. Paws. Yeah, yeah I exactly. Like, I like that. We used to get the uh dude. I remember being a kid and my mom would buy off-brand Lucky Charm or uh Fruit Loops. And the the lemon loops were so strong flavored that as a child, I took the box when she wasn't home and poured it into a thing and took all the lemon ones out so I so I didn't have to eat them in the cereal because they were so it was the lemon flavor was so overpowering that I had to take all the lemon ones out of the box. And she was like she saw them all in the garbage. She was like, what the hell did you do? I was like, I don't like the lemon ones, but I like the orange and the, stri- or the cherry or whatever. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude. It was gross. That's a lot, man. That's a lot to go through. I was a little <laughs> kid, like, dude. Got- I got home from school. My mom was at work. I was like, time, dude. <laughs> There's no internet. I better go ahead. <laughs> right. I'm tired of playing totally rad on the NES. Let me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it in a VHS tape of something I recorded off HBO. You had HBO? Yeah, my parents had HBO, dude. I must have been living it up. Get this fucking one percent guy. Yeah, guy. Yeah, we had T-tops on our car and I had HBO, dude. All right, man. Pinkies out and caviar fingers and shit. Let's go. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, exactly, dude. Yeah, I uh, I'm trying to think of like something else that I would make that was like a poor meal that was like oh dude steakums. I honestly can't box steakums far, far back, but yeah. Yeah, I know when we re- when we talk steakums. retro, you're always like I don't remember life. I, I honestly don't. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever eat steakums out of the box? Uh, yeah, steakums are gross though, man. They're so greasy, dude. It's like it's a yeah. pink sheet, and then it like it just. I don't like it. No, I'm not a fan. It reminds me of like strip steak, and I'm not a fan yeah. of strip steak either. Just like, no, do you thing. like 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 real Philly steak sandwiches? Like, like a Philly like a chopped steak? beef? Yeah, like a Philly cheesesteak. Yeah, I mean that's essentially what Steakums trying to do, but it's yeah. not the same as. Oh steak-ums. yeah, Jones. I'm I was vegan. I wasn't a monster. <laughs> um, yeah, I love a Philly cheesesteak, man. Yeah. I haven't had a good Philly cheesesteak in a long time, dude. It's been. I can't even remember the last time I had a good Philly cheesesteak. Uh, I mean, the ones from Domino's are okay. Yeah, but you know what they've <laughs> done like now? Amazing. No, now they're like this big, dude. They're like they're like two decks of cards. They're, <laughs> like they've they've literally over the years shrunk, and like there's hardly it's like now that they're on that five ninety nine, like buy all the different things for five. There, do they? Those sandwiches used to be bomb. Anymore, like I'm like. Why would you buy this? Not even worth it's not even six dollars worth of material here. Like, it's like you need that, you need to get two of them to get the equivalent of what the former one used to be. <laughs> Inflation's a B, dude. Inflation, it's because they're paying their uh, they're paying their workers $15 an hour, Jonas. Oh, is that what it is? They've uh, they've started not, uh, to up the, up the minimum wage, they're not doing it though, <laughs> but they sure did shrink your sandwich now and charge you more. Yeah, dude. I uh, I saw a thing one, online one time. It was uh, it was I don't know some celebrity was on. I think Conan or something. And they uh, and they and they really called out the uh, Cadbury Egg Company. The because they everyone had said that Cadbury had shrunk their eggs, mm-hmm. and they were denying that they had shrunk them. And whoever this was. I can't remember who it was, but I saw a video, and they were like a fiend, and they were like, "Yeah, every year at Easter, I would buy boxes of Cadbury eggs and keep them in my and put them in my freezer, and then pull them out throughout the year so I could have Cadbury eggs all year long." And I don't even really like them, but they literally were like, "Here's one I just bought last week," and they pulled out one. Here's one I had in my freezer, and it was like thirty percent bigger. And he was like, "Oh." So you had you didn't change the size of them, huh? And I'm like, oh, that's like no, but world. now they're more dense. Oh, <laughs> same more weight, dense. different size. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah. No, I don't know, man. Yeah, it, it's amazing how how uh, these companies like the peanut butter, where they have like the big dent in the bottom, so that the jar is the same size, but you're still missing like fifteen percent right. of the peanut. Butter. Oh, absolutely. I think tons of stuff like candy bars and stuff over time, like they get smaller and the price goes up, and like they just they they, they think we're dumb and that we don't notice that. Like I've been buying this for twenty years, all of a sudden it doesn't even fit in the palm of my hand anymore. Like, 
What are you gonna do, man? They gotta pay those. They gotta pay their workers that fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, right. Yeah. None of them. They, none I've of also, them are. Uh, I've also uh, thought that uh, they do that now because every they, there was a huge push to start putting calories and stuff on the packages. And if they would have kept them the regular size and been like, here's the cal, they'll be like, oh, this candy bar is five hundred calories for this. They gotta like make them so they're like reasonably snack size, like two hundred some calories. Oh yeah, it's they- only one hundred eighty calories for a candy bar the size of your thumb. Yeah, right, exactly. <clears throat> well, it's funny because then they do the ish where it's like three and a half servings per package in a candy bar. And you're like, what am I going to do? Get a knife out? And c- 380 calories per serving. How are you going to have two servings in one 20-ounce pop bottle, dude? Like Hot take, Jonas. Okay. The serving size is the biggest scam ever created. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I agree. You look at the back and you're like, hey, there's only 80 calories in this. Serving size, three pieces. You have a bag that is 200 count. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yep. That is, that's, oh. What gross. I really like is when you go to like the store and want to buy meat, and it'll be like four ounces of beef is 300 calories. Servings per package varies. And then you got to do the math yourself on the front to figure out how many servings are in the package so you know how many calories you're getting in the entire pack. Too much. I'll tell you that much. Too much. The fact that it's 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 like hidden and veiled and it's just it's clandestine. It's just it's just way too sneaky. All right. It's oh, way it's too deceptive sneaky as F, dude. to be deceptive because money over human profit. Oh, absolutely. Well, yeah, it's like it, if you have to chop your caloric amount of your food into small servings to convince people to buy it or fool people to buy it, you know it has too many effing calories. Like, who, how, who's going to eat half a, a white, uh, white Castle slider as a serving? You're going to eat four as a serving because you need four of them bees to equal one burger. Like, you're like, come on. <laughs> so, but who's going to eat one White Castle burger that's 900 calories? It's like, come on. Yeah, it's like, who's and I have to, you got to admit that they, that it's definitely gotten more and more transparent. But it I still is. think that that particular aspect is especially deceiving. Oh, especially yeah. Especially deceiving. Well, what I like that they've done is they've made labels, I think starting a year or two ago, where they have to put how much added sugar they put in it. Because it used to just be, how much sugar is in this? And you could say, oh, natural added together, 28 grams of sugar. But then when you have to go, we added 21 grams of sugar per serving. And you think about how much that is. You ever seen those infographics where it's like, here's how much sugar is in a can of Coca-Cola. And it's like, or like Kool-Aid, dude, two cups of sugar and one gallon of water, dude. It's like uh, <laughs> two cups of sugar and a gallon of water. It's all sugar. You're just drinking sugar. Yeah, dude. I'd rather buy the stuff that gives me aspartame, uh, you know, in it, you know. I mean, I guess. Let's see if I can find that. It's a, it's a it's a good infographic, dude. Keep it up. But yeah, I don't know, man. I can't. Uh, I can't. I can't deal with all that anymore, dude. Like that stuff is crazy. Like it's funny that like when I was younger, I was like, oh, haha, whatever, dude. I don't need to pay attention to that ish. And then I'm like, and then I get older, and then I'm like. Oh, dude, I got to really pay attention to that ish. I've become very conscious in, in the food that I put into my body. Yeah, yeah. People dude. tell you that that should have killed you. Guess what? That should have killed you. It they're really not, will kill not, you. Here, lying. let me show you. Uh, show, I brought up for people who are watching. How much sugar is in beverages infographic? So there's like a can of Coke. And it's, it is, what is that? Four, seven... Four, seven, five, seven, ten sugar cubes in one can of Coke. One like, 20-ounce bottle? How many is that? I can't even tell. Like, dead ass. Who's still drinking soda like that? Double man? gulp, dude. A double, a 64-ounce double gulp of, like, Coca-Cola. Look at that, dude. How many how many cubes of sugar is that, dude? It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten by one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's, like, 90 cubes of sugar in one double gulp. And those sugar energy drinks, I always drink the sugar free ones, but still, dude, that's so much sugar. Yeah. And all okay. of it added. That's a dude, lot. If, 
Yeah, I know That's people who still drink that stuff like like crazy. Like I I I switched to diet only drinks, sugar free drinks. God, more than a decade ago, probably two decades ago. But it doesn't mean that the the, sh- the fake sugar is any healthier for you. I just don't know, man. I feel like putting putting the sodas down is like you always hear people say, "I put the sodas down and the weight just started coming off." Yeah, because that sugar breaks down into carbs and it's just it's just gonna lay. Oh up your yeah. Body. If you're drinking non-diet pop, you're adding, and you drink like you drink like a couple cans a day, three, four cans a day. You are, dude. That's like an entire day's worth of calories that you're adding onto your diet on top of the food that you're already eating. So soda, soda is not worth it, man. There's there's juices that are just as good. There's uh, well, and some other juices carbs. are just as bad. Like those oh, those yes. juices that aren't 100 percent 100 percent juice. They add sugar to those, like cock, cranberry cocktail, dude. It's sugar laden too yeah yeah um and there, there's just there's alternatives that are that can be nearly as good man where it's not worth it so i suggest anybody drinking pop stop drinking that ish fuck coke and fuck pepsi unless they want to s- sponsor us then, i'll drink one right now on camera if they're yo one i will bucks, dude. <laughs> I would sell out so bad i have a sprite zero See, but Sprite Zero has no sugar in it. We can I drink take, it and no caffeine. Give me the double sugar. I'll be like, sugar glug, 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 glug. God, yep. I can't even taste the difference. Two two liters of it. <laughs> Just pour it over your face like champagne. Oh. Like sh- <laughs> oh, yeah. Just all over my... Okay, look. I might want to be president one day, so we're not going to get too deep into that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we not. Oh, two <laughs> liters of soda two liters of soda all over my <laughs> jesus all right yeah exactly that's what i'm thinking so yeah <laughs> one liter <God. laughs> you gonna shake it up first before you put it on your face <laughs> like shit. all right jonas dead ass you remember those tiny little bottles of like soda? yeah oh, like sorry. like the single serving bottles of soda it what the like... hell was that it was like four, eight ounces or some shit like that. Do you remember those? They would give them to you at like events or something. Like you would go I, to like. I remember seeing the little, the little like eight ounce bottles, but they weren't like. Are you are you talking like the shots you get from the hotel bar? <laughs> like I'm talking about like Coke and Pepsi. You have like little tiny bottles. They're like eight ounces, I guess. Maybe. Oh, the halfies, dude. They were like little squatties. Yeah, it was like what is this? This is like the what like trigger saliva production or something like what does this do dude what's what's funny is they still sell like the eight ounce cans uh but they're cans they're not bottles and what's funny about it is my ex-wife would always want to get those because she'd be like i don't want 12 ounces of pop i just want like eight ounces is like a perfect amount six ounces whatever but a six or eight pack of those is like five dollars it's like how the hell are you selling (laughs) your it's less aluminum it's less product how the heck? so like we would always just it's it's more cost efficient just to buy the twelve ounce can and dump half of it in the sink than it is <laughs> than it is to like drink what you want pour the rest out and we're good yeah, it's like fair. fair enough fair enough yeah dude it's like so you'd rather me waste it because you want me to it's like you I think you were the one that was like look at that the cost per ounce on the little tag yeah the unit like, pricing unit yeah. pricing oh my god. Unit pricing is amazing, dude. This is a boomer podcast, dude. This has been so boomer, dude. We've been talking about sugar and boomer and out cost per ounce. And (laughs) you you bring it up to topics. I'm just I'm going. I'm riding with them. (laughs) Yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, yeah. I feel you. I feel you for sure. (laughs) You you want me to bring up topics? We'll be talking about the the next big Twitch streamer. All right, let's do it. What's what you got? I don't know. You got anything else you want to bring up on this one before we Tim, wrap it up? Tim the Tat Man is killing it out there. Um, do I have anything else I want to bring to the show? Yeah, no pressure. Just if something's in your mind or something that's been in the news or anything. No, dude, because whenever you ask me that, I always feel the need to utilize my platform to bring across serious injustices. In the that's world, completely fine, dude. I know, but I don't want to be the serious guy. Look, stop fucking with Asian people. That's all I got to say. I'm yeah. Done. Yeah. <laughs> that's it that's all i'm gonna say i'm done yeah, i already said sure. the dmx thing that was serious stop fucking with asian people serious don't do it i'm done how about just stop messing with anybody yeah don't fuck with black people either because i we kick your ass 
Yeah, dude. Like, I just, I'm just like, why can't, why do people have to be so like ignorant to other people in general? I definitely have a philosophy on that one, but that one might have to wait until the next one because I will rant. Well, we can get a, we'll get a special guest on. We'll get a guest host and then we can talk about what's going on. I'm not talking about the racial tensions with that guy. All right. Look, I'm good. (laughs) You're like, I, I, I want to, I want to enjoy him after that yeah, episode yeah, is over. Yeah, Don't I'm need good. his mouth to get ignorant on something. <laughs> <laughs> I or I love the guy. He's not like a racist or anything. We're gonna have a bonus episode anyway. Jealous? Look, stop trying to make our guest seem like an intolerant. We're having David Duke on. Right? Yeah, We're- sorry guys. <laughs> it's been a secret for many. <laughs> no. We're having Jesus. David Duke on the show next week. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. You know hit him, him up on Twitter, dude. He'll be on. He'll be like, yep. You know him as King of the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> I think. King, Wizard, Sorceress. I don't know. Whatever. Oh, Illusion. Yeah. 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 Hate crimes. <laughs> King of the hate crimes is, I think, what they're referring to him <laughs> as nowadays. So, anyways, all right, everybody. That is all the time that we have for today's episode. Uh, hopefully you don't stop watching because you saw our faces on cam. If you missed us on cam and you're listening to this on our uh, feeds on Spotify or iTunes or SoundCloud, come over to our YouTube channel. Let's uh, just search Crazy Town Media. It will show up. Subscribe over there. You can catch us live, not live on our video. But uh, for Jonas. For TNT. We are out time.